Omnu should be on her way to school. Instead, her father's taking her to a clinic run by a local charity to help her deal with the trauma more and more girls her age in Mauritania are going through. The mental and physical scars of sexual violence. Omnu is still suffering from the experience of rape, and to make matters worse, the perpetrator walked away free. My daughter is going through a very difficult time because of the tragedy she suffered. She had a life-saving surgery to help her, but we still have to change her bandages three times a day. Omnu is one among many who go through such a harrowing experience. Rape is on the rise here. The majority of its victims are young girls, according to charities working with the victims. But Omnu may be a bit luckier than some other victims. Her family talks openly about her experience. In Mauritania's conservative society, female virginity is seen as a symbol of family honor. Most rape victims suffer in silence. The social stigma makes it more difficult for charities working with rape victims to operate. Some, like the one Omnu goes to, have classes to educate parents about sexual violence. Parents confuse sexual violence and adultery. A girl who goes through sexual violence is a victim, but she is also ostracized by her family and society. Only a fraction of rape cases make it to court, making the growing problem even more difficult to tackle. And for those convicted, lawyers say that the sentences they face are often too light, even though their victims could face a life sentence of shame. Zaina Awad, Al Jazeera.